What's going on, reef builders? My name is Jake Adams, and I wanna welcome everyone coming over here from the KG Tropicals video claiming that fresh water is better than salt water. Just wanna preface this entire video segment by saying that I'm an avid freshwater aquarist. I have six, seven, eight freshwater aquariums that include zebra placos, wild amaltum angelfish, discus, fancy tetras, fancy betas, and a couple more in the work. So I am a lifelong freshwater aquarist, uh, but saltwater is definitely my passion. So um, just take this in all good fun. We really wanna more more or less uh, start a conversation across the aisle between the freshwater and saltwater sides of the aquarium hobby. So with that out of the way, let's get started on the top 10 reasons that saltwater aquariums are better than freshwater tanks. So the first reason that saltwater is better than freshwater is the absolutely popping, bombastic colors of the fish. I remember starting out in freshwater and seeing the saltwater fish, and you've if ever seen the colors of even like affordable damselfish, to yellow tangs, to the crazy colors of triggerfish and angelfish. Uh, there's just truly no comparison. You know, freshwater fish, God bless them, um, you really have to put in a lot of work and effort to get them and condition them to a, a size and maturity, for the most part, where they're really shining. But saltwater fish, um, they have a kind of color saturation that is not absent, but very hard to find in the freshwater aquarium world. And so I think that is one of the first things that attracts people to the saltwater side of aquariums. Those colors, band the colors, the patterns, the fins, um, just there's no comparison. So naturally, when people think of saltwater tanks, the first thing that comes to mind is the crazy colors and patterns of the fish. But nowadays, the lion's share of the attention and uh, the effort goes into corals. There are zero species of freshwater or even brackish corals. And corals are just like a really fascinating intersection between something that's kind of like a plant and something that's kind of like a rock. In some ways, it's a little bit uh, fast Fascinating when people see your reef tank and they ask, is that real? Is that alive? Corals, again, if you think saltwater fish come in a lot of crazy colors and patterns, um, there's just literally no end to the colors and shapes and colonies and types of corals. You have some that grow really fast, need a lot of light. You have some that need no light, live in the dark and need to be fed like some kind of carnivorous plant. Um, and you just will never get bored trying to collect any group of corals. So that is my number two reason that saltwater aquariums are better than freshwater. My number three reason why saltwater aquariums are better than freshwater tanks is it's not just the fish, it's not just the corals. There's an endless variety of diverse aquatic life available to saltwater aquariums that is just not present in freshwater tanks. In freshwater tanks, okay, sure, you guys got a couple of your vampire crabs, um, you got some variety snails, you got a, you know, a few kind of uh, muted shrimp, you know, not super colorful. But in the saltwater aquarium world, you have feather dusters, you have fan worms, huge showy things, very hardy, very affordable, all kinds of crazy colored shrimp, hermit crabs, sun sponges, sea squirts, even giant clams, giant clams. Um, the corals come in a wide range of shapes and sizes, but basically the entire tree of life started in the oceans and um, a big cross section of those are available in the aquarium hobby. So if you're not just into the fish, but really want to experience a wide diversity of phylogeny in your aquarium, you just can't do better than a saltwater aquarium for diversity. My number four reason is not something that saltwater aquarists ever really think about, but freshwater aquarists have to be really mindful and do their homework uh, when they're getting into a new group of fish. So if you're looking at South American dwarf cichlids, you have to make sure, um, you know, to ensure that they have acidic and very soft water if you want them to grow as nice as possible. Um, if you're into African cichlids, you're gonna be looking at something a lot more alkaline and uh, harder water, and those two things really Really shouldn't mix but if you see any animal in the saltwater aquariums of your local aquarium store um, they are all going into the same chemistry in saltwater aquariums we aim for the same uh, levels of natural seawater so similar temperature similar pH similar salinity um, and there's no limitations there so you don't have to worry so much about compatibility when it comes to the values of your water 
So my fifth reason why saltwater aquariums are better than freshwater might not appeal to everyone. There's some purists who really like to keep their tanks really low key and kind of low tech. And I absolutely have some freshwater and saltwater aquariums like that. But bar none, saltwater aquariums have all the best toys. I'm talking uh, controllable LED lights, wireless pumps, uh, controllers, automatic water testing machine, uh, really fancy pumps, um, lots of automation and control devices, and there's the varying degrees to which you can uh, kind of jump into the pool of fancy equipment and toys for your saltwater aquarium. And a lot of that does trickle over to freshwater if you guys will let it. Um, so it's actually really fun to keep up with uh, you know, the new uh, consumer devices for your aquariums that kind of help you get an edge on keeping your fish in corals. It's not absolutely mandatory, but it does make for some fun toys, some fun gadgets if you're into that kind of thing. For number six, this is one is kind of similar to my number one reason. When people think of saltwater aquariums, they're gonna think about the crazy colors and patterns of the fish. But nowadays, with really fine-tuned um, uh, reef aquarium lighting, you can get crazy fluorescent colors. I'm not talking about glowfish, right? We're not talking about things that are kind of genetically modified. Those genes in your glowfish, they came from the corals and the anemones that we naturally keep in our aquariums, and just about every single fluorescent color if you're into that is available to you uh, from a wide range of different corals and animals not so much the fish but you're just not going to experience the kind of fluorescence in a freshwater tank that you will in a saltwater aquarium um, and it's something that really appeals to a lot of people my next reason why I prefer saltwater aquariums is there's so much more of a DIY culture and a personalization to the recipe for how you keep your saltwater aquarium, especially a reef tank. If you keep a basic freshwater fish display, there's only so many ways you can really do it. You know, there's you can change a different heater, um, you know, use certain medias in your canister filter, and there's definitely a little bit more tips and tricks to the approach of uh, freshwater aquascaping. You know, freshwater planted tank. But when it comes to a reef tank, it goes in every single direction. There's so many dials and levers for you to pull and so many different ways for you to come to different levels of success with your reef tank. Um, it really makes you feel like you are discovering something about your aquarium. It's a little bit hard to describe on video or describe to someone who's never done it, um, but there's definitely a lot of personal uh, touch to a saltwater aquarium that can help you achieve um, varying levels of success. The next reason that uh, I prefer saltwater is not the reason anyone should get to the saltwater aquarium hobby, but there's definitely a lot more revenue to be uh, gained from propagating marine animals. You know, if you breed awesome, beautiful cardinal tetras, you're gonna get maybe 50 cents to a dollar after growing them out for a fraction of a year to a sellable size. But when it comes to marine aquarium corals, you can grow small frags that are worth anywhere from $10 to hundreds of dollars, um, in many cases up to, you know, $1,000 in some rare cases. Again, that is not at all the reason to get into the saltwater aquarium hobby, but if you wanted your aquarium to pay for itself, uh, propagating frags and going to frag swap um, and supporting your addiction is much more straightforward in a saltwater aquarium than it is with freshwater tank. I've given you a lot of reasons why I believe that saltwater aquariums are better than freshwater tanks. But my personal reason is that like any endeavor worth doing, the greater the risk, the greater the reward. If you, it's challenging and you have to put a lot of effort into it, there's gonna be a lot more satisfaction when you finally achieve your goals. For sure, there are some freshwater fish that are incredibly challenging to breed, and there are some freshwater aquascapes that are very tricky to pull off. But those summits do not compare to the Mount Everest of breeding certain species of saltwater fish or pulling off a thriving grove of small polyp stony corals and all the energy and all the attention to detail that requires. I think you can understand. It's maybe hard to to convey on video, but when you put more of yourself into an aquarium, whether it's freshwater or saltwater, uh, the more you're gonna enjoy it on the other side, and there's just a lot more that you can do with a saltwater aquarium.
The first nine reasons that I gave you that salt water is obviously better than fresh water, those are all practical reasons. But my last one is a direct rebuttal to what KG Tropical said about the animals being wild collected. I know that it's this romantic notion that in this day and age, to protect something, you just leave it alone. But that's just not the world we live in anymore. Freshwater fish and animals and plants, they're grown in giant farms, almost like factory feedlots that is far far, far removed from the habitats where those animals and plants originated. But in the saltwater aquarium world, most of the fish and corals are actually coming from the ocean. And there's a direct pipeline of income that goes straight into the communities that live on those marine aquarium ecosystems. And that directly, not indirectly, it directly adds value to the fish and corals. If local fishermen know they can get this much money for a fish alive or this much money money for a healthy coral, they're more likely to keep that habitat intact. And this is, I think, a really important distinction between the freshwater and saltwater aquarium world. I want to thank everyone who made it this far through the video and all the freshwater uh, aquarists that are saltwater curious for sticking with us with our uh, playful video of how saltwater is better than freshwater. I want to make it clear that this is all in good jest. I keep a lot of freshwater tanks. I love freshwater fish. I'm subscribed to Amazonas. Um, and I just love taking the things I learned from either sides of the aquarium hobby and applying them to the other. So if you're a saltwater curious, freshwater aquarist that want to learn more about saltwater fish and reef tanks, make sure to subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, smash that like button. And if you have any opinions about freshwater versus saltwater, go ahead and put those down in the comments below. I want to thank everybody for joining us. Super grateful for KG Tropicals thinking of us for this very fun video collaboration and we'll catch you guys another one very soon.